What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. So we got a good opportunity for you guys today. We are going to be talking about a test net, and I'm going to be sharing with you how to participate in the Crescent test net opportunity that's going on right now. If you guys recall, I've already done a video for you guys in regards to Crescent. I shared with you how to go ahead and check and see if you're eligible for the airdrop. Uh, Crescent is the remix to the remix of the original Gravity decks. Uh, which remixed its name to, I think it was Evmus or something like that, uh, and then re-switched it up one more time to Crescent Network. Um, in this video, guys, I'm going to show you everything that you need to do to participate, how to get your faucet token, swap, IBC transfer farm, um, stake, and everything that you need to do on this test net. I was reading through all the articles, looking through the Discord, I couldn't see anything that confirmed that this would be an incentivized test net. Um, so there's a chance that maybe if you participate in the test net, you could get an airdrop or you might not get any additional airdrop. Don't really know. Uh, but we've seen in the past that, you know, being an early participant, uh, most of these projects you usually like to reward uh, early adopters of the network. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into this video. Uh, first things first, I do want to share with you that they do have an updated Medium article that came out two days ago. This is why I always recommend you guys just following the Mediums or the Twitter of your favorite projects that you want to stay up to date on. You know, you'll, you'll be able to always be first knowing what's going on. Uh, they have given us a date in which we can go ahead and look forward to as far as April 14th for when mainnet will go ahead and go live uh so we'll be looking for april 14th and when that time comes unless there are some delays by the developers i will have a video for you guys uh, on that day uh the article goes on to continue to basically go over a couple of different features uh that you can do on the decks but i'm gonna go over all that in the video for you guys uh the biggest thing to me is just the liquid staking uh that is just something that's becoming more and more common now like if your protocol offers staking and it's not liquid staking you're really and truly like behind the times at this point so um i think every like protocol that we go through offers some form of liquid staking now uh, it's just so much more convenient for everyone uh, I have, again, already done the video where I showed you how to check for the airdrop uh, to see if you are eligible. That website is airdrop.crescent.network. Uh, and the test network, guys, is testnet.crescent.network. All right. Uh, and what I want to do, guys, you guys can see I already had a little error over here, but uh, I'm going to show you everything. Don't worry. The test network's fine. Um, as a reminder, guys, this is a test net. So anything you do on here won't actually cost you any real money. Uh, please keep that in mind, like gas fees, none of that stuff matters, slippage, none of it matters. Uh, it's all free play, play money and test tokens, right? So once you come to testnet.crescent.network, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and connect your Kepler website, uh, your, I'm sorry, your Kepler wallet. Uh, depending on if you've participated in different test nets before, uh, the, the website will automatically prompt to add three different networks. So you're going to have to sign for three different transactions. Uh, the networks that they're going to add are Cosmos Hub Testnet, Bombay, um, and cool uh, and cat something, some, 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 something. Let me see what it was. I forget what the last one was. Uh, the last network they added was uh, Mooncat. So you'll get Mooncat, Bombay, and the Cosmos Hub. Now, all you have to do is click on the faucet buttons up here, and they will go ahead and send the tokens to their corresponding uh, networks. When you click on the Luna one, it actually takes you to a whole new page in which you're going to need to paste your actual Luna address. As you guys can see, my Luna testnet address in the Kepler is the Bombay 12 one, which was automatically added once I connected my Kepler. You will get 10 Luna tokens, all right? What you just need to do, uh, once you have uh, all your tokens sent to you, you're going to want to go over to Portfolio. And Portfolio is Crescent Network's version of like an IBC transfer page. We know on JunoSwap and on Osmosis Dex, we have one that was similar to this. Uh, and basically, all you're going to do is come over here and deposit your tokens. So there go my Luna that I've got. I'll go ahead and deposit nine of them. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and do the IBC transfer and bring it over into uh, this mainnet on Crescent. Well, testnet mainnet. All right, there we go. Transaction successful, uh, completed. And then all I want to do now is go ahead and get the other token. So uh, let's go ahead and search. Uh, deposit token. We want to go ahead and deposit Adam. You can see I have 100 Adam right there. So I will go ahead and I will bring over 99 of them. We'll do the deposit for that. 
confirm transaction. And that's it, guys. Just that simple. Uh, you bring your testnet tokens over. Uh, you should already have the Crescent ones in here. So let's go over to swap. Let's swap some tokens out, guys. I would recommend you guys just swapping out, doing a couple of different transactions over here. Uh, that way you can make sure you qualify for everything. Um, for me, I usually just try to work my way through and then reverse everything. So I'll swap some tokens. I'll stake some tokens. I'll pool some tokens. I'll farm some tokens. Um, and then I'll reverse it. I'll exit the pool, exit the uh, staking, or swap again. That way I know I've done everything that could qualify me uh, if there is to be an airdrop. So one thing I'll just show for you guys, if you decide to swap Crescent, the only opportunity it allows you to swap it to is B Crescent, which is like the state version of Crescent. Um, so just something I wanted to go ahead and share with you. Uh, there is major slippage on here as well. And you'll notice that when you're doing uh, between other transactions, when you try to do swaps, like it'll be like really, really bad slippage. But remember, it does not matter. It is a test net. So we'll go ahead and just do a few swaps. I'll swap and get some B Crescent. And then after that, I'm gonna come over here. I'll go ahead and stake a couple of Crescent as well. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll stake uh, 75 of them, why not? Go ahead and submit that transaction, uh, approve. And again, I've gone through and I've done this already. I haven't had any issues uh, doing any type of like, transactions on here. Um, the main thing that I've noticed is just really and truly the slippage, which is like pretty extreme, uh, but just something I would just share with you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and swap a couple of other tokens out over here. We'll go ahead and we'll swap some Atom uh, and we'll get some UST for that or whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and do 20 Atom over there, swap token. As you can see, slippage went up a little bit more on that one, pretty decent slippage over there. Swapping $600 worth of Adam when he got $200 worth of UST. Normally, we would never do that transaction, but again, it's a test net, so we don't really care at all, all right? Uh, we'll go ahead and get some Luna and we'll swap some Luna for what else do we want? Ah, we don't know, we're good with that. Now let's go to farms, all right? Uh, here we are at the farms and you can see there are a couple of different options you have for farming. Uh, we know we've got Crescent and B Crescent. I do like the fact that on the farms, they don't make you have to go to the pool page on swaps, then come back. You can actually do everything. You can pool, enter the pool, exit the pool, farm, unfarm, claim, and everything just from here. So that's that's pretty convenient to me. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we don't want to do all our crescents. So we will do 60 of them, deposit that in there. And there's other cool little features that they have, some cool little um, minor things, but to me, I think they're helpful. And I think other other DEXs should add them, especially like people like me who always sometimes forget to go back in and do farms. Here's what I mean. Like sometimes I've had the issues where I've entered liquidity pools and because I'm moving so fast, I'll forget that after you enter the pool, I have to go farm my pool tokens. I like the fact that on the gravity decks, they actually have this little icon right here that shows you, hey, you've got a pool uh, where your money's sleeping right now. So your money's sleeping, not making you money. And then let's go ahead and start the farm. We'll max it out. And you'll see that my money went from being stagnant and sleeping to on the clock um, and working for me now. So uh, I just like that little feature that they added on there. So you're gonna see the little icon. Uh, it should switch itself up in just a moment. Um, there we go. See, and now my money's on the clock and it's working for me. So I thought that was a pretty cool opportunity right there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do a little bit more pooling and a little bit more farming over here. Uh, we'll drop some more tokens. All right, here we go. Approve transaction. And then after that, we'll just go through and we will farm that one. All right. Second. And then we'll go over here. Max farm. Let's let the farm update. There we go. Farm that. And that's it, guys. That's really all to it. There's not really much uh, as far as Gravity Dex goes right now. Basically, claim your tokens, do a couple of swaps, go to the portfolio, IBC transfer your tokens in, um, stake some tokens, farm some tokens, uh, and then maybe undo all the process that you did. That way, uh, you know you've covered everything that could possibly qualify you uh, for any type of incentive, if there happens to be one. But that was it, guys. I just wanted to go ahead and share that information with you. Um, not too much. Hopefully, that video was helpful, guys. And again, I'll keep you guys updated once we have uh, some more information and we get close to the 14th. Uh, I'll provide a video. Hope this video is helpful. Catch you on the next one.